what's up y'all what's poppin it's d about to react to this video this is kevin hart reacts to his cringy basketball video so i'm about to react to him reacting but this is what confuses me because at first i thought kevin hart was trash at basketball because he used to talk a lot of shit about how good he is so i'm like automatically he's trash but then i saw him um when he was playing for the nba celebrity basketball game he won like mvp and he was like playing good so i was like okay he's really good but this is saying, you know, he has cringy basketball videos. So, I'm like, which is it? Is he good or is he not? Like, I don't know. I don't know if these are really old videos when he was bad and he got better over time. I'm not sure, but we about to see. Let's watch. This is Essie Featured. This is the power of sports. Ooh, guess what I weigh? Heart and muscle. I'm talking when I do it. <laughs> oh man, that's the, that's the moment there, guys. <laughs> Why he ain't got no energy? Why he so dry? Hey, Shaq, when you fall during the games, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you go up and get a rebound, he don't get it. You go, oh, no. <laughs> He knew we bought this one. I saw clips of it. <laughs> Whether he's making LeBron laugh or the rest of the world, actor comedian Kevin Hart is on a roll. <laughs> with concert films, hanging around red carpets for his movie comedy, enjoying front row seats at NBA games. Is that Steph Curry in conversation with Kevin Hart? It is. And on the trip, Hart became the comedy highlight of NBA All-Star Weekend. The high-energy megastar continually running the floor and is mad. As a four-time MVP, at this point, I can't do no more. Yeah, this is a video I saw. Me, it's just, literally, it's all the greats. But while he was growing up in Philadelphia, basketball greatness was not what others expected for Kevin Hart. Last day of freshman orientation, she comes up to me and says, you know, I'm going to be your starting point guard. He's about maybe five foot, five two. I said, who are you? I thought I was going to the NBA. And that's what I thought I was going to make it at. And I failed at that in high school. He'd go inside, Being five and five feet. Score and everything get knocked away and get knocked down. Every time he went to the room, even if you ain't touching these falls. And then just <laughs> defense cuts. Like, he would be up underneath you. Like, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. We have a tape of your game. Do you really? This is probably going to be great. Oh, shit. December 5th, 1996. Okay, There's Kevin Hart doing that defensive pass, wearing number five, the Eagles of George Washington High School. Okay, yeah, so that's awesome. Oh, I got it. Woo. Ah. Oh, wait, that's a turnover. Hold on. <laughs> hey, wait, get back, Kevin. Ah. Oh, I blocked it. All right, so that's a turnover and then a block. Okay? And I'm out of the game. Wait, wait. Take the out. Oh, wait a minute. What? Jesus Christ. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this basketball highlight is it's horrible. Who left this out? <laughs> wait, here I go. <laughs> yeah, <yo>, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Kevin, where, where do you, what were you, I got six turnovers. I get why my coach didn't let me play that much. It happens. It just uh, I'll happens. tell you what else just happened, another turnover. Damn. Yeah. I think I got eight turnovers right now. He was not good. I, what I understood the game a lot better after high school. <laughs> Goal is make the camera fall. <laughs> another thing hard improved on was fitness. He turned from this grade school <laughs> swimmer to this just yes, Kevin. Fit enough to get his own Nike training sneaker and to hang out in ads with Serena Williams. What Serena doesn't know about me, I, I retain a lot of water weight in my hamstrings. Oh, okay. That's so, never been heard so. of. That's never been heard of. Water hamstringitis. <laughs> Despite his Serena. demanding schedule, Art yes. finds time to work out in any of time. This actually may be my wife's short, to be honest with you. Now, I tell you what, she ain't gonna want him back after today. 
do me a favor, guys. Try to stay above my shorts if you can. I just, I just don't know what happened this morning. In 2014, Hart committed to an intensified fitness regimen, working out alongside his trainer, a former college football player known as Boss. Okay, yeah, right now we got bench. Is she joke, Boss? No, it's not. A wow. Joke, you want to do this when the camera's on, Boss? So what you gonna do? <laughs> in terms of being fit, he didn't want to be big. He didn't want to put on a lot of muscle. Wanted to stay lean. Really? How long did you have to do that before it became easy? When I came out the womb, that's when I first knew I was gonna have amazing abs. Shut up. When I came out the womb, and the doctor smacked me on the butt, and I did 20 crunches. <laughs> Why does it help to look at yourself while you do that? You want me to be honest? It's because I look good. Uh. I don't, I don't really have a better answer than that. <laughs> but it was no laughing matter why Hart dedicated himself to fitness. When you start to see people around you that you love and Hard care work. about go through health issues, I lost yeah. a lot of people that were close to me. And with my schedule and the way I was touring and filming and doing movies, eating any old kind of way, you literally start to look up and you go, wow, you know, I'm falling into the same pattern yeah. that some of those people before me fell into. It became an animating cause for Hart, being in shape oh, okay. and helping others get that way too. So as he'd work out on private planes, in the water, even boxing in gyms, he'd take videos that would drive much of the social media content he'd share with his 100 million followers. In 2015, while filming Central Intelligence in Boston, Hart came up with a way to get his fans started on their own fitness journeys. Nobody runs like Boston. Let's go, baby. We decided to randomly send out a tweet, tell people to come meet us. We wanted to run a 5K. I'm not a runner. I'm just about the healthy side of it, so please take it easy on me. We had about 300 people show up, and we just ran. I was like, oh, this is cool. We should do it again. We ran, and we did it again. 700 people. We did it again. It was 1,000. In cities all over the world, he'd run. And by the time he made it to his hometown of Philadelphia, the place he'd left to make it big in show business, it all came together. The flash mobs were up to 2,500. Fans eager to cover the distance before meeting their idol. I do not leave until everybody's crossed the finish line. That's good. I had to finish. I had to finish. You had to finish. Thank you. I don't do it for the personal feeling of look at what I'm doing. I love the fact that people are reacting. It's a great feeling to know that you're just affecting people in a positive light. But Hart was having an impact closer to home as well, positively influencing one person in particular, his old high school teammate, Kareem Hawkins. Once tipping the scale at 330 pounds, Ooh. Kareem embraced a healthier lifestyle, inspired in part by what he saw his friend Kevin doing online. Seeing him bringing fitness to the forefront, it makes it easier for me. Finally, I just got it together. Kareem has since lost 80 pounds. Yes, Kareem. Kevin also evangelizes for a fit lifestyle as an ambassador for Rally Health. Put yourself in a position to get change. When you see change, you see better. When you see better, you see more success. When you see more success, you see more life. When you see more life, you see more smiles. Health is serious. I think people need to understand that and take care of themselves. At the end of the day, you get one life. Thank you, man. We have a couple of surprises, I think, for you. Just a couple of guys who wanted to say hi to you. It's Kareem Hawkins. He done lost some weight. And Coach Calvin Jones. <laughs> Time to catch up with his friends from the old days. What is Jones going to age? Dude, I am laughing so hard. Because that video you said really made me go. I was. I'm just going to on record apologize to my coach for years of me thinking that I should have been playing more. I want to thank my teammates for always making me feel like I was right. Well, wrong. Uh, dude, it's made my day, man. Everything I do goes in one circle. Laughter brings people closer together. Fitness, health, understanding brings people closer together. The world is an amazing place, but it's a better place when people understand that we make each other better. All races, shapes, sizes. Really? You're going to fly in my face, bro? That's what I stand for. Is what I represent. I'm getting so irritated. Leave me alone.
I'm sorry guys. I'm a little off right now because this nap will not stop fucking with me. Like I've been sitting here recording videos, minding my business, and this gnat is just flying around my face. It's one gnat. It's, it's just, it's, uh, I'm getting so irritated, guys. I just want to kill it so bad. I want you to die. I want you to die. This was a cool video. I fuck with Kevin Hart. You know, I feel like he's always trying to do positive things, so I respect that. He was reacting to his basketball videos all of, you know, one minute. So it was just real clickbaity. But it's fine. It's fine. You know, it was a very positive video. So I liked it. Let me know what y'all thought about it, though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! You fucking up my recording session, bruh. Where are you so I can kill you?